Hey, what is up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we are going to be going over some of the best SR memories in the game. These SR memories are going to include PvE for VE Tower as well as PvP. There are obviously less good SR PvP memories, but there are still a few good ones that you can be running in PvP to improve your PvP team. So the very first memory I want to talk about is the current event memory. While the event is still out, you want to make sure you get this memory, at least a copy of it. If you can, try to save two, maybe three copies of it. Use your SR Limit Break tickets to put into this. This is a very, very very good free to play memory. So this one is called Don't Look Back. It increases character's power by 25% for three turns when equipped by a UA high student. Increases character's critical hit rate by 25% for three turns if there are any UA high teachers on the team. Very, very good. And then also shortens character's action skill cooldown time by one every two turns up to two times. Like that is so, so good. Having a crit rate of 25% and reducing action skill cooldown time, that is really, really important. Now the downside is that this crit rate does only does only last for three turns. So that that is what makes it an SR right there. If we had this memory, but without that turn limit, this would be like the best memory in game. That would obviously make this a UR, so that's why they had to put the turn limit on it. And you do want to be DXing that because at level one, you're only getting 15% crit. So that's what I'm saying when you guys should be limit breaking, DXing these memories. This is what you should be doing, what you should be working on, because that crit rate is a big jump and a big difference. The next memory that I suggest you guys work on is called Patrolling the Town. It increases character speed by 40% when equipped by a female character. Well, right now the meta is Fantasy Jiro and Ocean Sun or Araka, so that is very easy to achieve. Also, increase, also once per battle gives character ability to evade two times when HP is below 50%. Wow, that works really well with uh, Ocean Sun or Araka. So this memory, while it may not be the fastest memory because it only has 40%, the fact that it gives evasion is really important and really, really good, especially if you lack UR memories and maybe you are newer to the game. This is a good option for PvP. And you do want to get that DX level 1 because as you can see at level 1, you are only getting a 20% speed boost. So it is a pretty big difference from level 1 to DX level 1. The next memory that you guys should be working on is called To The Next Step. This is a very, very, very good VE tower memory and it often gets overlooked. So what it does is it makes character ecstatic for three turns when a wave starts. Making characters ecstatic means their plus ultra gauge goes up quicker. And if you know anything about VE tower, having your plus ultra faster is good. Good. And then it also increases skill impact by 30% and critical hit rate by 20% when ecstatic. So this is really, really good. And then if you look at level one, you don't get that crit rate increase. So it is very important that you are getting this to DX level one. Otherwise, it doesn't have any crit at all. So that's why you guys should be working on or limit breaking this memory. The next memory is called a happy time featuring La Brava and Gentle Criminal. And this one is short and sweet increases character speed by 45%. Why would you run this? Because that is a very high percentage of speed, very good for PVP, especially for an SR memory. Now there are going to be UR memories that have a higher amount, but like, let's be honest, it's a lot easier to DX or limit break an SR memory than it is to DX or limit break a UR memory. And so for a UR memory to have 50% speed, it has to be like fully DXed. Whereas this one being fully DX is gonna be a lot easier for you to achieve than DXing a UR memory. So this is one I would highly, highly recommend, especially if you are a free to play player, new player, whatever, uh, working on for PVP, because this will help out your PVP team. The next memory is called a small ally. It lowers the chance of getting confused. It increases character's critical hit rate by 30% when equipped by a UA high class 1A character. The reason I've thrown this one on here is because it has one of the highest crit rates out of the SR memories. 30% is a lot of crit rate and you do need to get that DX because at level one, it is 10% crit rate. So really an important memory to be working on and it will help you out a lot in VE Tower if you are lacking crit memories. The next memory is called Expanding Imagination. It should be no surprise that this one is here because it just does so much. It's a ridiculous SR memory. Increases character's power by 25% when equipped by a UA High Class 1A character. Increases character's power by 15% when character has the ability to use two normal attacks. 
Here's the important part, increases character's critical hit rate by 30% when characters camouflage. This is really good for any Sue. And then also increases character's skill impact by 35% when character counters. So that's good for Kirishima. Overall, this memory is mainly good for Sue though with the 30% crit rate and level one is only 15%. So you do wanna make sure you are getting that DX. And the final memory I wanna talk about is create those ultimate moves. This one has been like a godsend for a lot of players recently is very, very good. Increases character's critical hit rate by 25% and plus ultra move skill impact by 15% when equipped by a UA high class 1A character. If there are any UA high teachers on the team, increases characters plus ultra gauge by 20% when battle starts. So whenever you get a memory that does crit plus plus ultra raise, that is very, very good. So this memory is phenomenal, really good for VE tower and it will help you out a lot. And just to show you guys, level one is only 15% crit. So it is very helpful to DX these, limit break them, level them up. If there are any memories I missed, let me know down in the comments. These are just the ones that I think are the most important for SR memories to be working on. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I am still trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know that is a massive goal, but we can do it with your guys' help. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.